The next item on our agenda is the serious problem of abusive naked short sales, which can be used as a tool to drive down a company's stock price to the detriment of all of its investors. In July 2006, SEC Chairman Christopher Cox admitted there were loopholes in Reg Show that permitted naked shorting to continue. There continues to be a number of threshold securities with substantial and persistent fail to deliver positions that aren't being closed out under existing delivery and settlement guidelines. One problem, trades that fail before a company lands on a threshold list can remain unsettled forever. The SEC wants to close that loophole by setting deadlines for settling failed trades, but some say this still isn't enough. Reg show, they say, will still fail to prevent abusive naked short selling. That's because the rule only forces naked short sellers to settle trades after they've failed, and by then, it's too late. The alleged damage inflicted by naked shorting can occur before a company shows up on a threshold list. Example, January 2006, shares of Audible, a company that sells audio newspapers and books, fell nearly 15%. The drop coincided with a jump in undelivered shares, which occurred before Audible was placed on the NASDAQ's threshold list. Our data is showing anywhere from 15 to 35 percent drops in stock prices in the first month that this is happening. And we've seen stocks go from 26 down to 3, you know, 90 percent drops in the stock price over six, seven or eight month periods. But it's usually the first month where the most damage is done. In 2003, the SEC filed suit against Rhino Advisors for naked short selling shares of software company Sedona Corporation two years earlier. Rhino settled the case in 2003 for a million dollars without admitting or denying wrongdoing. According to SEC records, Rhino instructed brokers at the now defunct brokerage Revco to clobber Sedona's stock until its share prices collapsed. The shares fell 50% in three weeks. Yeah, did you get anything good there for me? They were congratulating for clobbering Sedona's stock. Go after, make sure you go all the way, run them out of business. I have now 15 employees when I, at one time I had over 70. Traders have committed federal crimes using naked short selling. This document contains emails written by a convicted naked short seller serving 11 years in prison for racketeering conspiracy, securities fraud, wire fraud, and extortion. Anthony L. Jindy directed members of his internet-based investing cartel to sell their stock in a certain company at the same time. Carpet bombing, he called it. Ken Breen was lead federal prosecutor in the case. There was testimony at trial with regard to volume pounding, volume trading, uh, they were able to overwhelm the stock by just flooding the market with short sale orders. And those short sale orders would eat up all the buy orders and it would just drive the price down. The bottom line is that the one... Former Undersecretary of Commerce Robert Shapiro works as a consultant for lawyers representing alleged victims of naked short sellers. He says as many as a thousand public companies were damaged by naked shorting in the decade it took to get Reg Show into the rule books. A lot of those companies are gone. A lot of them died. Uh, this was a, a fatal, uh, fatal attack. Now, some of them were weak when they were attacked. Some of them would have failed anyway. Others wouldn't have. Again, it's not up to the naked short sellers to decide. Um, it's up to the investors that play by the rules. Well, if you believe the $6 billion in failed trades every day could endanger a market the size of America's, some argue the dollar value isn't the real threat. The danger, they say, is in what those trade failures represent. And why should a group of overzealous short sellers, and frankly, they are mostly hedge funds, why should they be allowed to destroy the American dream. It's, it's, it's a matter of fairness. I think what you hear among all the critics is, let's just be fair. There's no need for this. Right now, affected companies blame hedge funds. And hedge funds are blaming the prime brokers, the firms that process trades for institutional investors. If we're going to find out that, that there are fails in the system, 
due to widespread naked short selling, it's going to be due to the brokerage houses, and some of my best friends are prime brokers, don't get me wrong, but it's gonna be due to the back office problems at the brokerage houses, not the hedge funds. He told Patrick me, oh, Byrne, who once personified the NASDAQ's hopes for a dot-com recovery, is now the poster child for all that's wrong with Reg Show. The day Overstock became a threshold security, in January 2005, the NASDAQ reported that more than 280,000 Overstock shares had failed to deliver. After becoming a threshold security, prime brokers were supposed to guarantee delivery of Overstock shares in any new short sales. Instead, the number of undelivered shares skyrocketed. By March 20, 2006, they topped 3.8 million, an increase of more than 1,200%. Across the Rockies in Utah, Overstock's CEO slips his Jeep Scrambler into second gear near his company's headquarters in the foothills of the Wasatch Mountains. It is his place to escape. Like these roads, his battle still seems uphill, but Byrne says he won't quit. So it becomes like a game of chicken, and I'm putting a brick on the accelerator and take my hands off the wheel. And if they do the same thing and we crash, we crash. Of all the numbers that we've reported here, there is one that everyone can agree on. The number one. Using the most conservative estimate, about 1% of all trades on U.S. exchanges will fail on days the market is open. State security regulators say that's 1% too much. They want the SEC and brokers and stock exchanges to take the necessary steps to ensure a 100% success rate. And finally, based on data from the SEC, in the half hour it took to watch this program on a typical trading day, about four million shares failed to deliver. I'm Mike Schneider for Bloomberg News. Thank you for watching.